Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have a very, very interesting story, very bizarre, uh, that was shared with me by one of my viewers. And uh, I want to read this story to you all because of uh, how bizarre the nature is. Now, a lot of people don't believe in heaven and hell, but uh, we're starting to see more and more people who have testimonies about actually going to the pits of hell. A few years back, we shared with you um, Dudu Brown's experience. Uh, he is an entertainer. Uh, he shared his experience uh, many years ago. He, he has some very, very real uh, claims of what he experienced. Uh, we shared another story of a woman um, whose um, boyfriend had shot her in the face and killed her mom as well. But uh, she lived to tell the story as she talked about her experience of actually uh, falling down into hell. So I want to share this story with you. Maybe uh, this will help to open some people's eyes to uh, the fact that this stuff is real. It's not something, something to be played with. Don't play around with your soul. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the story. So a Michigan priest uh, who temporarily died claimed that he went to hell and saw demons enslaving humans, uh, torturing them with Rihanna music. So that might seem strange or bizarre, but let's hear the man out. Okay, let's hear him out. Uh, he says he's now sharing details from his journey to the underworld uh, that may offend some music lovers. Gerald Johnson says he died in 2016 after suffering a heart attack and what he saw and more specifically heard was horrifying. Uh, Johnson says he saw terrible, gruesome sights of torture and pain and heard music that was designed to cause maximum trauma. Uh, here's what he says he heard during uh, his death experience. Okay, uh, Johnson shared his experience via a now viral TikTok video. Uh, he says instead of heading straight to heaven as expected, he went the other way, down into the pits of hell. He says, I thought I did so much good during my life that I helped so many people, but even so, I went down to hell, he says. Okay, let me tell you, that reminds me of the scripture says, if the righteous scarcely make it in, where will the sinner and the ungodly appear? Father, yeah, have mercy. If that don't make you say have mercy, I don't, I don't know what to say for you. Johnson says he saw demons enslaving humans and a man walking on all fours like a dog and getting burned from head to toe. Uh, his eyes were bulging and worse than that, he was wearing chains on his neck. Uh, he was like a hellhound. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Johnson claims hell was much worse than he could ever imagine. I enter the very center of the earth, Johnson says. Uh, the things I saw there are indescribable. Um, it brings up so many difficult feelings when I talk about it. Um, I was there and wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I don't care what he did to me. No one deserves that. Whoo, y'all have mercy. Y'all have mercy. Uh, Johnson says there is a section of hell where music is played, but very badly. Uh, the priest claims he could hear Rihanna's umbrella and Bobby Farron, Farron's Don't Worry, Be Happy. Oh, my goodness. Being used as instruments for torture. Uh, to make things significantly worse, the Demon's Choir performing these songs was deliberately performing them incorrectly for maximum pain. Every word of every song was made to torture you for the fact that you didn't worship God through music while you were on earth, Johnson says. Okay, Johnson says he made his way back to his physical body but will never forget what he saw. I was angry with God because I did not, I did so much good in my life and ended up in hell, he says. I rose up out of hell and returned to earth. And God spoke to me. He said, you were secretly angry with people who harmed you. You hoped I would punish them. Uh, these are not your people. These are my people. I just put you to focus on the task I give you. Even though I did good, the things I had in my heart was a lack of forgiveness for the people who, the people who wronged me. That is very powerful and frightening. Is both. 
powerful and frightening. I think we all should take a moment to reflect on all of the foolishness, not just that, but any foolishness that you allow to linger in your life and in your heart. Take a look, a second look at yourself. Um, I wonder where his TikTok video is. I am not seeing a link to it. Uh, let me see. This is frightening, y'all. I'm sorry, but this is terribly frightening. And um, it's an eye-opener. It's scary. It's huh, everything imaginable. But think of him, the one who experienced this. Having that story to tell, I am pretty sure that somebody is going to be grateful for what he has to say here. Grateful that they get another opportunity to be in the land of the living to even share such a story. And so I am on TikTok. I'm trying to see if I can find it, if I can locate it for you. Okay. Okay, so I'm not finding it, but someone said it was a TikTok video. Um, anyway, that is his story. That is his story. And so, I would just say, simply take heed. Simply take heed. It's definitely worth um, at least paying attention to, if nothing else. Um, ask the Most High uh, to grant you repentance. Ask him to grant you repentance. Don't don't play around with your soul. I say that all the time. Don't play around with your soul. It's too valuable. You only get one. I'm done. I want you all to share your thoughts in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. <laughs>